The aim of a cumulative flow diagram is to show you the stability of your process over time. It tracks and accumulates each task that has ever entered or progressed to any stage of your workflow. Whenever you complete a task, the number in your process's done stage will rise permanently. Each stage has an arrival and a departure line. The vertical distance between them visualizes the number of tasks that were in this stage of your workflow at the time. The horizontal distance between your first and last stage shows the approximate average cycle time for your tasks, meaning the time it took you to progress a task from being requested to done. Let's take a look at the workflow of an example software development team. Their process involves five stages. A quick look at the chart tells you more about their approximate average cycle time of two weeks, along with the number of tasks completed during that period. In order to determine whether their process is stable, we need to monitor how the chart progresses in time. If the distance between the arrival and departure lines grows in parallel, then most likely we've got nothing to worry about. However, if it starts to expand rapidly, then tasks are arriving faster than they can be processed, and we need to take action. Remember, a properly built cumulative flow diagram always flows upward or sideways. If you ever see a line going down, then the chart is incorrect, since tasks should never disappear. This is one of the most advanced analytic tools in the Kanban world. Get an in-depth look and find out more about flow analytics by following the link below.